hey everyone welcome to the sixth video of our selenium grid 4 uh, series and today we are going to see how we can manage selenium grid 4 containers or nodes using kubernetes so in our previous videos till now we have seen the same thing using uh, docker compose we were managing our uh, docker containers related to nodes using the docker compose file today we are going to see how we can do the same thing using uh, using kubernetes so uh, we will be using Minikube to implement this, to demo this thing. Uh, Minikube is a way of implementing Kubernetes on a local system. And this is how you can download it. So you can follow this link. On this link, you will find how to download it for various uh, OSs. And for me, I am working on Windows, so I have followed the same steps related to Windows. I have downloaded the exe file, which is given on this particular link. I placed it in my C location, uh, C by creating a, a mini cube folder. Uh, within that folder, I have placed the exe file. I renamed that uh, exe file to mini cube. This is very important step. This is not mentioned uh, in this link, but you need to do it. Once you have done it, you just need to define uh, uh, environmental variable uh, up to the path of this uh, minikube.exe file and then in command prompt you need to execute minikube uh, minikube space start so it will look something like this so once you are done with minikube start command it will take some time it will automatically download the kubectl as well the command line for uh, kubernetes and once that is done, uh, it will give you this particular location here. And once you open this, uh, it will open the Kubernetes dashboard, something like this. So this is the prerequisite that you need to do, right? And uh, when it will be up here, you will be able to see the namespaces, the ports, services, uh, all the deployments, right? So we'll go into the detail of these definitions as well we'll do a touch base upon that and then we'll uh, jump to the demo part so coming to the notes again once this is done so the concept behind this is like we'll be having our hub uh, and then there will be a kubernetes service which will be interacting with, uh, with both hub and the nodes we'll have a chrome node and the firefox node then uh, coming to some Kubernetes terms, port. Port is the smallest unit of Kubernetes which is used to uh, house one or more container and run application in a cluster. Each port will have its own IP address. Deployment is responsible for keeping a set of ports running. A service is responsible for ena enabling the network access between the different set of ports. Okay, so we will be using these concepts. That's why I'm going through only those concepts of Kubernetes, which are part of this demo, right? Uh, replication controller ensure that a specified number of port replicas are always up and running, right? So these are the four concepts that we are going to use uh, in our demo. And I have already defined the YAML files that we need uh, for our demo. The first one will be this deploy.yml uh, in this file what we have we have our selenium hub and this is the docker image the latest docker image of selenium hub i have defined here so the structure of this yaml files are uh, in this way like here you will be defining the application version the version that you have you are going to use you are going to define that version here then kind which kind of file it is whether it is a deployment file a service file or this replication controller file so we will be using these three different kinds in this demo one is deployment uh, okay the second is service and then the third is replication controller so this flow diagram that a little flow diagram that i have described here so this one hub uh, will be having a deployment for hub and then uh, the service will be using this hub deployment. Then this Chrome and Firefox, both of these are replication controller. I have defined in the form of replication controller, both of these things. And then these uh, on both of these replication controller, I have defined this service, which is going to use the hub. Okay. 
then uh, we have um, like this is the basic structure if you if you compare it like api version is part of every file then kind is part of file a kind is saying which kind of file it is and then we have metadata where we define the name so name in our deployment is selenium hub right and this is the application name that you are going to give so app name we have defined selenium hub here right and then rolling update it is a strategy for deployment that simply put can be understand by like if there is some uh, for example change in the version of your selenium hub right uh, so and if your service is already up and running using this deployment then you do not need to stop the deployment whenever there is an update you can just update in this yaml file then there is a command that you need to trigger and without stopping your deployment your services in this particular new change will be there on the application which will be running on this particular one okay then this is uh, here within spec uh, specification only you can define the other specs as well like here you have uh, like the image that you are going to use then you are defining the resources limits that you have you will be defining for this particular deployment memory and the cpu then the port the container port you have defined here now coming to the service part this is the service you have named we have named it as a hub service and then this is the app the app that we have defined here selenium hub it is using that particular app that particular deployment will be used here you can say and then these are the ports that we have defined this one 30001 it is uh, you can name it as any uh, main port where your selenium grid will be running okay and then event bus publisher and event bus subscriber these are the concepts that we have seen earlier in the first video of our selenium grid so here we have defined the ports for both of these uh, event bus publishing port and event bus subscriber port so this is for service then coming to the replication controller part so these are the uh, selenium grid nodes right uh, one for chrome and one for firefox so what we have here uh, the same kind of thing we have defined kind as replication controller name we have defined here and within spec you are defined two replicas replicas means how many nodes will be there for chrome when we are saying there are two replicas that means there will be two nodes for chrome and similarly two nodes for the firefox here we have defined name labels and coming to the spec part again uh, here we have defined the image so image you do not need to specify the version here you just need to give the name as uh, like this node chrome and node firefox and it will itself take care of uh, the version on basis of your hub right and then these are the specifications that we are defining here here you have defined like this is dependent on hub service so this is your hub service like which you have defined here then uh, like here the port of subscribing and uh, publishing this is the same which we have defined in our service so we are defining uh, the port here and then maximum session that means on a node how many parallel execution are possible you are we have defined it as five so similarly the same thing is for firefox as well so these are the four yaml files that we have created and which we have included in our project and now coming to the next part is how we will use it so for that uh, let me open the command prompt now in command prompt we'll use kubectl create hyphen f and then then the name of our file the yaml files that we have created the first one will be deploy where we will be creating a deployment for selenium hub using the image that we have mentioned in our deploy.yml 
so you can see it is saying that deployment is created and if we go here under deployments here we can see the deployment and you will be able to see the port as well right so this is the port of selenium hub uh, as of now there is uh, like this is a service that is not required for now i will create it freshly so let me remove it so this is kubernetes default service which is there now we'll use this service now the name of service will be this hub service and for this the next command is service.yml and now if you see this is our hub service we have created it now right and if you open this here uh, are the things that we have defined right if we go to our like these are the specification we have defined these ports and these can be seen here and then the port like this is hitting the port that uh, we have defined in selenium hub like this is the selenium hub app and this is our image that we used and then if you see this service is being linked with the this application port right app selenium hub the, now the next part is like here what we have done till now we have created a deployment for selenium hub and now we have uh, used a service which is pointing to the same like that port now the service is created basically for networking purpose as we were earlier discussing so that our hub and node can interact with each other now at this point as we have already set up the hub that means our selenium grid should be up and ready so for checking that part what you can do is this is the command that you need to execute like on which url you can access the grid so for that if you will do this you need to pick the first url only from here and this is your selenium grid right and as of now there will be no nodes here the grid has no reg uh, registered nodes because we have not uh, up we have not you know as of now created the uh, no like ports for our nodes right for that what we need to do is we need to use the kubectl create command with this Chrome YAML and Firefox YAML as well, where we have defined our uh, replication controller. So for this, now because I need this thing here, it is saying that because you are using a Docker driver on Windows, the terminal needs to be open to run it. Let me open one more command prompt here. And for that, I'll go to my project location, CMD. and we have this let us quickly check the number of ports that we have we have already checked it on dashboard but let us see it here as well so we have our selenium hub port up and running and now let us do kubectl create hyphen f chrome.yml and similarly firefox.yml Okay. Now both Chrome and Firefox related ports shall be up and running as well and we have defined two replicas in both of the YAML like two replicas for Chrome.yml and two replicas for Firefox.yml that means there should be in total uh, five ports. Let us quickly check that. See now we have five ports and if we will check the same in our dashboard as well. These are our five ports here. And let me do a refresh here.
yeah so it was taking some time uh, for starting these uh, nodes here but it is all working fine so our all ports that we have like five ports we have five port one port for hub and then four ports are for node and here we can see uh, the four nodes in our selenium grid setup because there are two replicas for chrome and then two replicas for firefox and then the sessions that we have defined in our specification that as well we can see here here we have defined the max session 5 and this is being defined here maximum concurrency 5 that means uh, that means that on each node we can have five parallel execution at max right so now this is it and then uh, let us come to the code part now so on the code side i have put all the four yaml files in the uh, project repo and apart from that within our driver manager class where we have handled the local driver initialization and the remote driver initialization i have just changed the url for the remote execution as per the new grid url that we have um, here right and this url we got after executing this particular command for our hub service and apart from that uh, like if you have been following this particular video from our previous video the only change i have made is like i have because we are using kubernetes then we need to comment the part where we are initializing the docker compose from the test uh, code itself so if you want to see let let me show you that part so within our login test if i'll show you the difference so wherever we were handling the things related to docker i have removed that part from here because now we are not using docker compose we are using uh, kubernetes and in our test ng file i have done the parallel execution using test and there are two threads and i have just kept uh, two chrome tests within this test ng file and commented the remaining thing so this will be enough for this demo so let me trigger the test and we'll keep an eye on this particular selenium grid setup so there will be two instances of chrome up and running within our sessions so here we can see we have both the sessions triggered at the same time and in some time we will be able to see the sessions here as well So here we have both the sessions for Chrome here. And here we can see both the tests are running. One test has been completed and second is also completed here we can see that so now we know that how we can handle the selenium grid for using kubernetes and before this we have seen the same thing using docker compose as well so guys in case you are directly watching this video i will highly recommend you to go and watch the previous videos of this playlist where we have discussed the basic of selenium grid for alongside with how we can handle it using docker compose and automatically trigger triggering the docker compose files as well so that's it for this video guys and in case you're liking the content that i'm making please do like share and subscribe see you in the next video thank you